Hey, this is Draco, and welcome back to X3 Albion Prelude. I'm uh, continuing with the Star Wars mod, as you can clearly see, with the uh, version 9.4. He can't do it alone. Yep, you tell him, Darth Vader. <clears throat> Which is kind of awkward, considering this is taking place after the Battle of Endor. So, you know, kind of dead, but, you know, hey. It's on a need-to-know basis, and uh, I don't think you're really on the need-to-know if you don't know that. So let's go ahead and start back where I was. And probably cut to black or something. Alright, <laughs> I'm probably going to edit that long bit out real quick. Hey, I'm traveling at 78 meters per second. That's amazing. Wait. <gasps> oh my god, there were some updates. I think. Maybe I'm just crazy. I think there was an update. Yeah, yeah, this is a proper update. Oh my god, look at the map in the corner. That's amazing. <laughs> it's awesome. Alright, cool. So there were a few updates to the game. What? What are we doing? Who's fighting? Why, why are we fighting? Who dares? Argon. Oh my god. Food transporter. Oh my god. I love these ships. I don't... I mean, they're the rebel transport thing. I freaking love them! Oh, it's taking battle damage, hasn't it? Oh, uh, maybe, yeah? yeah? No? Yeah? Maybe they're just always shitty. I don't know. They're probably just always kind of beat the hell up. Oh my god, I love these transport ships. Okay. Alright. This is a ship I have got to, I have got to get. I, I don't even... I love this ship. I mean, this ship is amazing. This ship may look like a beat up piece of shit. And it kind of is, but I've always, all right, I've got to admit, I've always loved this little beetle ship. I just, mwah. ever since uh, Empire Strikes Back, they were freaking awesome. Um, anyway, moving back to what we were doing. Oh my god, you did a fantastic job, Mikhail Sketchkov. Chose defeat. My god, it's an amazing update. Anyway, I totally got sidetracked. <laughs> what I was going to try to say was that, uh, so I recently updated to the 1.4, uh, I mean the 9.4, whatever the hell it is. It's still not fully released to the 1.0, I believe, and this is also a beta, a uh, little sneak peek at what's currently under development, which is amazing and fantastic, and I love that. However, I still have the, the nagging trouble of well, my game is currently still using a vanilla save, so I really can't go much faster, you know, I can't really go on and really appreciate everything that's been added, which is a real disappointment, I believe. Entering system, chose defeat. But, uh... Um <clears throat> anyway, lost my train of thought there. Missile. Oh no. Tempest hur hurric mosquito missile there we go. installed. Uh I lost my train of thought. Oh my god, the sleek interface has changed because I'm an Imperial. Fuck yes. <laughs> that is awesome. Um <clears throat> anyway. Uh what I what the hell was I even trying to say? I believe I was trying to say uh Right. The uh, save that I'm currently using that involves having a uh, this this badass ship. Really? Are you gonna try and fly into me again like that other guy, that other idiot? You really want to try pushing your luck like that? Cause I mean, I'm all right. Go for it. Make my day. God, I love that hanger. I love that hanger. Um. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, Just checking my just checking my map real quick here. I need to go left to that left gate, I believe. I do declare. Anyway, the uh, the biggest problem though with playing this game, or at least playing this mod, is I'm not gonna be able to experience Coruscant and the other likes, at least to the best of my knowledge, unless unless there is some kind of conversion that I need to do. That I probably need to just ask uh, the mod creator himself how the hell to make my old save compatible with 
Coruscant and Bespin and such. Or if I just have to start a whole new game. In which case, I mean, that's a possibility. I mean, I mean, I guess that's a possibility. I keep thinking that I see like a line right there. It's annoying the hell out of me. I think there's a, like a line in the glass window right there. Yo, you, Lieutenant Anderson, you need to fix that window. Replace it. Quickly. Get an oxygen mask. You'll be fine. Anyway, uh... Yeah, yeah, it's definitely going to be an interesting case to see if I can ever salvage this save. I would certainly love to, considering how much uh, effort it's taken to get to this point thus far. But, I mean, I'm not going to really hold out much hope. I'm, uh... I mean, what I could even do in the next video, in this video even, I could just save, leave, and then start up the new game just to go quickly take a little look at Coruscant. It's fine, I'm not going to be missing much, it's not... I mean, it's just a big planet with the ability to land on it, technically, by, you know, going down to the sanitary building Asteroid. and all that. I, it's, okay. Argon. High -tech transporter. Okay, I'm missing out on a crap ton, okay? I know that. I realize that, and that's a lot of balls. And, uh, yeah, no, I, I just, uh, you know, it's something I just yes. gotta deal with. Son. That's just what I gotta deal with, and, uh... So yes, I'll just have to figure out things as they go along, keep my uh, my eyes open for any uh, little conversion guides, or if you there in the comments can help me uh, with a suggestion of what I should try and do, I'm all for it, just except for starting again from scratch. I don't know if I could do that. I mean, look, look at this ship, look at this bridge, look at how awesome it is to have a ca Oh. Yeah, no, Anderson, you really gotta fix these windows, okay? You know, boot man. Boots. Yo, I know you can hear me. I, I need you to get your pronto here. Snappy, make it quick. Gonna need you to fix these windows. These windows are disgraceful. Uh, <laughs> moving back on topic, though. I've, I've gotta see what I can do. It's, uh, it's gonna take some doing. It's gonna take a little bit of work. It's fine, though. But, uh, yeah, just if I could avoid having to start over from scratch. I mean, it was it was a pain in the ass just to try and find the uh, Aldrin colonies and then building uh, that station out in Magnea. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to figure out how to make a station that sustains itself? That's not an easy prospect, making a perpetual motion engine. Uh, let me just tell you that, okay? The, the, <laughs> the physics behind it alone are just a mind-boggling cluster. I could probably do it again. I just need to. I just need to figure it out again. It's been a long time, about a year, probably, probably two years, since I've done that. So I mean, I'm not looking forward to it, but it's possible. Uh, as for whether or not I'm going to, uh, I'm just getting flashbacks to, God, this bridge. This bridge is nice. <laughs> no, I uh, definitely. Definitely want to do what I can though to be able to go to Coruscant to go to a new sector has apparently been added with this update Bastion a real Imperial Controlled sector so it will really feel like I'm in the Empire when I go visit it which would be amazing and awesome And I would love it dearly uh, Not really sure why Coruscant would be next to Omicron Lyrae though. I'm gonna admit I mean, if I were to pull up the map here, which I'm not going to do because I don't like to do editing, so, uh, yeah, if you want to look up the map yourself on the mod, uh, go ahead and, uh, find out what I mean. Coruscant sitting right next to Omicron Lyrae, which is Argon controlled, and, oh, man, why would the capital of the Empire, supposedly, be sitting right next to, oh, wait, no, this takes place after the Battle of Endor, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, in that case... Oh, jeez, that was a slideshow for a second. I don't know if that showed up on the video or not, or my video is still even recording. I'm not going to try and check it, and I'm just going to keep talking to myself if I need to. God, I love these engines. But, uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll find out with Coruscant and uh, all the like. I'll probably just do another video and start over so I can check a, check a look at it. Yeah, that's great English. It's fan, fantastic. So, uh, 
I love the speed boost. I mean, it may only be 10 meters a second, but hey, you know what? Small baby steps. I like it. I'm good. I'm good with that. No, that's a good... That's good. Means it's progress. It's progress in a direction. I like it. <laughs> what else was changed to you? Nothing much. I don't think the weapons were changed. Yep, max speed is still 78 meters. Uh, yep, that's about all I can tell. I go base size is 5,200. I think that's the way it's always been. And yeah, I still use the Imperial AF Turbo Lasers. The, the good old ass. Yeah, nice. I love those. Those cannons are nice. I need to buy more of them when I can. Once I find this damn shuttle. And uh, let me just line up to the, to the, line up with the hole real quick. And uh, there we go. Make my way on through and uh, pause for effect. God, I love that. <laughs> Never change. Entering system, Barkar's son. All right. Yep. Should just need to head straight ahead. So yeah, I. Uh, I've got to say, I mean, there's a lot of updates going on here. I love the changes. I love the map. <laughs> the Imperial insignia there. That, that was fantastic. Um, now, if only I could have Boots McGee here. That's uh, that's his informal name. Uh, Paranid Freight Transporter. If I could just have him, uh, you know, standing around and such, that would be fantastic. I don't think that's a Star Wars ship. No, that looks more like a... Definitely, well, hmm. I mean, eh. Uh, uh, I don't know enough about it. No. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna make any. I'm not gonna make any assumptions here. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna it's an asteroid. You wanna see an asteroid? Here's what asteroids look like the big, the rocky, and they really take up a lot of space. I could say that about a few things in life, but I, I can't really think of the joke right now, so it's fine. Uh, space Aquarium. God. L -beta. Getting way the hell off track. That's a space aquarium. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's. <laughs> that would be pretty cool to see the inside of a space aquarium. Yeah. Yeah, that reminds me of the. Have you ever heard of the story, the tragedy of. Blah, de, blah, de, blah. All right. So, going a mile a minute here. I've got to fill in the space while I'm trying to travel across the freaking universe. I think it's somewhere over here that I'm trying to head towards. But uh, regardless, I uh, also found out that the frontline sectors will properly have Imperial ships. No more uh, Yokohamas and uh, other traditional Terran ships. No, no, now you'll properly see Interdictors, Star Asteroid. Destroyers of all types, and uh, hopefully Imperial Corvettes. Um, I'm really curious as to about how the Nebulon B frigate is handled, considering it was originally designed... It was originally an Imperial ship, but it was commandeered, captured, and primarily used by the Rebels uh, as time progressed. You know, because... Amongst a lot of things that the Rebels use, they tend to steal all of the cool-looking ships. Which really sucks. and really pisses me off, too. <laughs> but that's okay. I, I really I really want to see the Nebulon B frigate. It's, that's one of my favorite ships, too. And, uh... Yeah, no. Uh, in other news, I've been playing uh, Breath of the Wild, the Legend of Zelda game that just came out. Man, is that fantastic. Go for it if you haven't tried it. Or if you're on the fence about the game, I just say go get it on the Wii U. Cheaper that way. I still don't know what the hell Nintendo is thinking by, yeah, let's just make a new system and then our only game that's really worth playing <laughs> is also available on another console that has been out for a few years. That's a good business strategy, right? I, mm. I gotta say, don't know what the hell they're thinking, but then again, I'm not a business manager. I, I don't handle that stuff. I just shoot x-rays. That's my expertise. 
That is all I am limited to, so keeping my opinions to myself. Otherwise, uh, no, no, as for the game itself, man, it is fun as hell to go through and finally play a real open world Legend of Zelda game. I mean, you take everything that made Zelda fun and really great, you add a really intuitive, I mean, okay, when you're running around and jumping and striking at enemies, it feels fluid, it feels solid, it's nice. Uh, you never really, f you can jump, you can, you can jump. That right there, 10 out of 10. Link can jump. <laughs> at will. Not even just at it. Oh, look, there's a ledge you looks like you could jump over. Automatically jump. Oh, no. Nope, nope. Argon. High tech transporter. Hey, cool. It's Transporter X Wing. That's pretty freaking cool. The hell are you doing that, buddy? You don't have an R2 unit. I don't think you do. Maybe you do. Maybe it's just a really dinky one. You got the bargain bin, didn't you? Oh, man. I feel so sorry for you. You poor damn idiot. It's a nice paint job, though. It is a, gotta say, awesome choice of paint. That was good. Argon, high tech transporter. It's gonna keep menacingly following this poor guy, transporting all of his balls. I'm sorry, guy. Just gotta keep following you. And uh, sorry, just burping up catfish there. That was my meal. For, that was my dinner for the day. Catfish. It's amazing. Love it. And, uh... Split bio-transporter. Okay, Mandalorian ship. Oh! 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 Oh, yeah! Oh, I love this ship. I recognize this one. This is definitely a Star Wars ship. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I just freaking love, uh, Empire at War. I... You know, it's another game I should definitely play. I should really play that one, because... Man! I love this ship. This ship was pretty damn good. It won me a few battles in that game. I love it. Um, um, <clears throat> just had to, had to have a moment there. <laughs> I definitely recognize that ship. I can't tell you the name, because I sure as hell don't remember it, but it was a fine ship. That's for damn sure. In, uh... Baron Split Bio Transporter. Yep, no, uh, no fancy little old, uh... No information you're gonna read to me today, can I? Uh, let me check to see. Maybe if I turn off the verb, maybe if I turn on the verbose. There we go. I'm gonna regret that. But let's check it. Let's check a look at it. <clears throat> Even though each ship was sold without any weaponry or defensive shields built in, plenty of of the action for. Okay, I gotta try that again. <clears throat> Even though each ship was sold without any weaponry or defensive shielding built in, plenty of aftermarket systems could be added to the Action 4. I don't think that it... During the time of the Galactic Republic, the Action 4 transport Azur Clean was captured by on planet Rutan. Why is this going so fast? What? What? The Rebel Alliance also employed these cargo vessels also as personal carriers, but... Far more extensive than the GR-75 medium transports. Maybe that was the name. Pirates often modified... You know what? You can just pause the video and read these yourself. Because uh, this is very interesting, and I love reading the little backstories about all kinds of different ship designs. That's pretty cool. If I could have read it that fast. Plutarch, mineral My transporter. God, I'm going to turn off for boasts again, because now I remember how annoying you are, computer. <laughs> but yes, that was that's Split the ship. Food transporter. These are the ships that I love. These are the uh, if I remember right, I believe this is the kind of ship that you can use in Empire at War. And uh, it's a great game, by the way. I should probably do a playthrough of that. That would be fun. And uh, yeah, yeah, these are like some of your uh, ships, if I'm remembering right, that were uh, like the Corvettes, the typical you playing as like Tybazan or something and you would go through and use them as your, your pretty much cannon fodder to be truthfully yeah to be honest about it but hey you know what they packed a punch when they needed to I think they fired off torpedoes too if I remember right maybe I'm remembering right maybe I'm not I don't know either way they were good I love that ship it's a good solid ship Wrong cars, clouds. this is where I need to go right Boy, howdy, I sure hope so. Yep, this is exactly where I need to go. And after that, I need to take a left at Ronka's Fire. All right. So, 
I'm just gonna keep on muttering about everything that I can think of to mind it comes to mind I should say when I'm uh, flying around oh dear all right cool just froze for a second I'm guessing a really big ship just spawned into the system, but I don't care. I'm just going to keep on moving. Got no time to lose. Argon. Oh, come Weapons on. Are you dealer. kidding me? Do you really want to go? Oh my god! Oh my god! It's transporting A. Oh my god, you can l see it's launching A wings. Oh, that's fun. Are we fighting? Are we doing this then? We're fighting. Oh, we're fighting! <laughs> oh, that was a bad mistake, mother... That was a bad move. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor, poor sad. So that was amazing. You can see them docked in their hangar. You can tell what kind of fighters it's got. That's beautiful. I love that. Okay, this game, 10 out of 10. It actually shows you the damn fighters. Oh, please. Shut up and die. You know, I should just... Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. No, you started this fight. You are going to regret starting this fight. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just going to enjoy this. You launched fighters when you should not have. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> Run! Oh, Flee! Flee! <laughs> Don't shoot, I'm releasing it. Any more of this and I'm out of business. Ooh, what are you releasing? Can I see it? Can I see you drop it out of your ass? Are you gonna just drop it and sit it sit it floating around? No? What are you dropping? What are you, what are you dropping? What are you, what'd you... What'd you drop? You didn't drop an asteroid. You, What'd you drop? Come on, you were right there. What'd you drop? No, oh, you're dead now. Bleh. Argon escort. All right, well. A wing. What's up? Met Gusta. <laughs> All right, no, that was fun, guys. I'm gonna see you. See you later. Have fun. <laughs> oh man, that was that was that was fun. Autopilot off. Oh no, my autopilot is off. Entering system, Ron Cars Clouds. Yep, this is the right spot, Ron Cars Clouds. Please do not deploy any more of your fighters, or I swear. High tech transporter. I will have to. Oh, you are so dumb. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Okay, so aside from the fact the turret is not really showing up on the ship, that is pretty damn sweet. And I love the hybrid design. That was nice. Um, guy was. Split oh. rapid response. Python. Oh. Oh. Ooh! Wait, no, this isn't quite the ship I thought it was. No, 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 the, I thought for a second it was the ship with the giant fuck-off cannon <laughs> on the front. Oh my god, if you had that ship. I don't even know the name of that one, but oh, the typer's on, like... Like, here you go, the, they had the consortium, uh... faction in, uh... Empire Total War. No, wait, Empire at War. I, you know what? A Total War game that was based in Star Wars somehow? No, it still wouldn't work. They only do they only do planetary battles anyway. No, no, but the, the, the giant... Yeah, it looks like a giant gun. That's, that's the ship I need. That's the one. If it just fires off like a giant cannon. Oh, <laughs> you know the one. If you played that game, you know what I'm talking about. Those things that just... Yeah, target that the tar target the shielding array and then bam, it's gone. <laughs> I love that. All right. Anyway, I'm getting all kinds of distracted here. So where do I go from here? Where am I again? 
I'm in Ronco's clouds. I need to go straight on through. Alrighty. Yep, anyway, I had plenty of other things to talk about, I believe. And I'm forgetting most of it, but yes, general long of it and the short of it. I've also been playing uh, another pretty good game called uh, Night in the Woods. It's pretty darn Argon. nice. Weapon stealer. Oh my god, it's the lat thing. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love this. Oh, that's good. That is good. If I spin, does it, uh, no, it doesn't let me spin. Okay. That's cool. No, that's definitely nice. This is a cool, uh, bravo to you. That's fun. <laughs> I love that it's got this little fighter here. It's interesting it's used as transport, too. I mean, it's an atmospheric, a low altitude, you know. That's nah, fine. It's whatever. <laughs> Oh man. Split recon. Hello. Prototype. It's a prototype. Yeah, I'll call that a prototype. The model's even prototype. Holy crap. <laughs> but yes, I uh I've been playing a few other games. Uh let me see here. Another really fantastic game called Split uh what the hell is it called? Transporter. Torment Tides of Numenera, I think. I don't even know if I said that right. It's a really cool, really cool game, too. Uh, I think it was originally backed with a Kickstarter, and it... Hey, it's finally available! Nice. I love it when those finally get finished. Uh, another game that, speaking of Kickstarter, I would love to be able to play is a game called Rain World. I uh, backed that back in 2014! And it's finally coming to Steam and PS4, so... Whew, that's gonna be fun to finally play. I will definitely be playing through that when I can and uh, let's see what else should I be playing and what I would like to play I might decide to do some strategy games to be honest I am definitely a fan of strategy I think a little Split bit more than just a, a little bit more than Raider. just a oh hey this is a this is that kind of fighter isn't it okay that I think I recognize that from, uh, God, what the hell was it called? Um, it was on PlayStation, wasn't it? Like, a uh, Star Wars fighter or something? I, well, maybe I'm thinking of something totally different. I don't know, but I, that looks like a familiar ship. Yell at me in the comments later because I can't think of the damn name, but yeah, it's called a sick fighter. It's, it's pretty damn a psych fighter. It definitely sacked me out, and uh, God, I feel so bad for that. Jo I'm sorry. <laughs> I should just. I, I need to. I need to just go ahead and self destruct now. I'm sorry. I need to just end it. End it now. There's not even a map button for that. Thank God. <laughs> I just accidentally blow myself up. That's how I should end my my game. Uh, the hell was that? Oh, hey, you. Split fresh food supplier. Oh, yeah. Oh, Stellaris. That's the other game I should play. Thanks for reminding me here, whatever the hell this ship is. Uh, yeah, that reminds me. There's an awesome Star Wars mod for Stellaris. Uh, an amazing uh, grand strategy space game. Why the hell have I not recorded that? I have to ask you. I don't know. I've just been silly because this is a really cool ship, and it totally reminded me of the... Uh, that's the construction ship in that game? I don't know. Maybe it was the science ship. I think it's the science ship he uses a Mandalorian faction. Either way, um... Oh yeah, that's right, because they've got an update that's going to be coming out in April, I believe. And I uh, wanted to kind of wait until they finish updating for that. Before I really start anything major. Argon, military supply transporter. There's just so many interesting ships in this damn game. Holy crap. <laughs> just look at these look at this mod look at look at Mikhail go you go that's amazing that's awesome you added so much stuff <laughs> holy crap that's a uh, jeez I know you may not have made all the models yourself but holy crap <laughs> that's Split still a lot of models food supplier that's a lot of models I need to turn off your damn Vobro's nonsense because I'm getting tick tired of your shite wait no yes I had it on the whole time. I had it on the whole time. 
The DS Mantis patrol craft was a rare top-of-the-line starship during the Cold War, and I couldn't remember the rest of that, so pause and read that, capital ships. This craft has seen many upgrades and has been modified for a variety of roles. Blank. All right, <laughs> that's all you're gonna read Argon, about it. Military supply transporter. The Brock Talk class gunship, also known as the Dronian gunship. Oh my God! And it possessed no accommodations for ground-based infantry and included only a small hangar deck. And here's a blank screen. The gunship measured 90 meters in length, 37 meters in width, and 90, 19 meters in height. Armed with eight double turbid laser cannons and eight concussion missile launches. The optional crew number was 75 beings with operations such as fire control, maneuvering, and command stations within the ship's bow. The gunship was also long and narrow. Its bridge was crescent shaped and connected to the main hull by a thin neck, thus resembling the head of a round hammer. Okay, cool. So that's the command deck. Neat. Fancy. I think this might need some touch. Ah, it's. You don't know what? No, actually, that, uh, this fits. This fits the fact that it's a Mandalorian out here in kind of wild space anyway. Come on, come on. This isn't, like, the most advanced sector you're going to go to. So, uh, no, yeah, this fits. This fits. Maybe just a few lights on it. I mean, it's got one there, but, okay, yeah, no. See, these are the kind of ships I would love to be able to walk around inside. And that's another game that reminds me... I need to play uh, Star Citizen when it finally, whenever they finally get around to finishing their work on the, uh, the Carrick. Yeah, the Carrick, that was the name of the ship that I uh, got. Yeah, when they finally had that ship that's roughly close to the size of the first Normandy from Mass Effect, that'll be fun to fly. That'll be good. I'll definitely be showcasing that fantastic uh, beauty whenever they finally get around to finishing their game. Uh, it's Star Citizen, though. It's the Slate game that's... Passenger shut off. It's the game that everybody knows as is the game that's never been finished for the past... Uh, how many years now? Eh. Is it, does it make a noise? Oh my god, it makes noise. What the hell? It makes noise? That's amazing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'll definitely... Ask, what can a lower creature like you want with us? Yeah. Um, it's definitely something I'm going to be checking into uh, playing uh, Star Citizen when they finally get around to finishing it. And just like everything else, I'll try and diversify some of my content a little bit. I do have a, a video card, too. Totally changing gears and changing the subject. I could technically record uh, Breath of the Wild... At least for a little bit. But then again, it's Nintendo. And knowing Nintendo, they're probably going to be worse than Disney, even, when it comes to Star Wars copyright. <laughs> if you thought Star if you thought Disney was bad, oh, 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 let me just hold you on for one second and just say, no, you haven't seen anything yet. <clears throat> but yes, I, uh... Silkworm Damn it. mosquito missile installed. I uh da, da, da. still hope to be able to play a few other games at some point. Um, definitely have quite a quite a bit worth playing. Empire at War would be nice. No gate. Wrong cause fire. And uh, just double checking my map here, and yes, we're taking a left. But yes, I would be happy to do a few uh, other games aside from X3 Albion Prelude, unless y'all just want to see more of that. In which case, yeah, I'm totally cool with that. You know, focus on one game first. All that jazz. And, uh, yeah, see how this goes. Hopefully the game can uh, eventually be... Hopefully this mod can be totally finished into a 1.0 state at some point, too. Uh, I hope we can get that far. Entering system. Wrong cars fire. And much like getting that far, I hope I can finally get to Brennan's Triumph one of these days. I need to take a left. There we go. That's easy enough. 
split what food are you? transporter. You're that awesome ship that I want. Uh, da, da, da. What are you? Nothing. Paranit food transporter. Boron food transporter. Okay. This definitely just boron. Definitely just boron tech. If it's green and it looks organic, yeah, it's definitely boron. That's vanilla. Um, yeah, so, anyway. I think I'm about halfway there. This is mostly just going to be a traveling video. Just, uh... Hey, as long as I don't drive you nuts while I'm just talking about gibberish and nonsense, then hey, good on, good, great on you. Damn, that catfish. <laughs> oh my god, I hope I didn't go through on the mic on that one. Anyway. <laughs> Aside from that, what the hell is that thing? What are you? That looks Mandalorian, but I'm not sure of what kind. I don't know. I can't boost. Just gonna have to speed it up. Uh, otherwise, I, uh... Yeah, I mean, if I can hopefully figure out how to get the uh, mod updated to... You know, update this save file so I can run into... If I could get a Lucre Hulk class ship... <laughs> And just fill it to the frickin' brim with drone ships. Drone fighters. <laughs> I would love that. Oh my god, I love the donut ship. I loved that thing. I loved Terracorp, it in a... High-tech transporter. Oh cool, that one's a lot more classic design. That's not really... I mean, I see what you did there, but that... No. No, there were no turrets sitting in the middle right there. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, um, that should be closed. That should definitely be closed all the way up. I mean, it kind of makes sense here, considering we're kind of near the... We're in the high altitude of the uh, planet. Kind of in high orbit. So, I mean, yeah, I, I could see these light gunships flying around, but... I mean... I don't know, they definitely would not be open like that. Come on, I played Star Wars Battlefront too. <laughs> I remember the space battles and flying those gunships. They closed. They closed Argon, the doors. Mineral transporter. Uh what was I even talking about? I was going to be saying um Gate Family Roncar. Yep, this is the right way. I uh was thinking that I would definitely love to uh get my save to work better with this mod uh, because as far as I'm aware now granted I haven't tried jumping to Omicron Lyrae and I haven't tried looking for a gate uh, well it may, may not be from Omicron Lyrae now that I think about it but I've not tried looking for Coruscant and Bespin so I mean it could be in the game for all I know it could just be in the game maybe I just haven't tried looking hot enough who the hell knows I know that I don't that's for damn sure and I can say that without lying at all. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, about all I can really say. Uh, it would be fantastic to be able to play through and not have to start all over again. Oh. The ship is under attack. Somebody please help. You're, you're, you're a mix, aren't you? You're a ship that's mixed. That's like a weird abomination of a Corellian f <laughs> cruiser and a... Oh no. What is this? What is this? What is th It's not that bad, but still. <laughs> it... Oh man, that's gonna be weird. So this could have fighters inside it. Oh my... Oh, we're still under attack. We're still under attack by little X-Wings. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I'm gonna just park. I'm just gonna park it right here. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're definitely dead. Nah, screw it. I'm just gonna go on through. Screw it! And, uh... Yeah, using the terrain to cover. Good flying! Asshole.
Engine okay. System, Family, Ron Carr. I mean, all this said, technically I could go through and play through, uh... Just double checking again. Yep, straight ahead. Through that gate over yonder. I mean, I could... Definitely go about, um... Now, I wouldn't mind playing through uh, the game all over again from a fresh start as an Imperial so uh, pilot if there were proper missions. Uh, some way to either get better ships than just what you start with. Or... Fresh food supplier. Oh, hey, uh, Millennium Falcon. How's it going? Is that, is that the is Chewy in there? Chewy. We're copyright infringing. All right. So, um, <laughs> moving right back on. I, uh, really, uh, it's going to distract the hell out of me. That's really cool. I love that. I got to do a flyby. There you go. Flyby shot. <laughs> I, uh, I would love to start a new game. In fact, if I could just go and get, um, Missions. If I just had missions to go and do to be able to get better ships like the Rebel side would have. Yeah, you know, the Empire needs some love is what I would say. I just, you know, you need... You need some, uh... Argon. Energy transporter. Instead of just, okay. The out, the, the Terran missions were kind of added as an oversight later on after the release of Albion Prelude. Which, you know, was disappointing back then. And then later somebody modded in and made proper missions for the Terran people I believe an MMC mineral transporter but see you kind of go through uh, anyway as a uh... what am I even trying to say what I'm just trying to say is that all I'd be asking for would just be a... please don't hit my ship all I'd be asking oh that was cool okay <laughs> Got little communications going on right there. And, uh... Split weapons dealer. Oh, cool. God, I'm getting so all distracted. Hey, there's another ship that shows up in Stellaris. That's awesome. I love this ship. Dodge mine. Move out of my way, bitch. <laughs> and, uh, but yes, I would definitely John say... Freight transporter. It would be nice. I don't know how feasible it would be, but it would be nice to have a proper mission for the Imperial side, just to see, like, how you can go through the front lines fighting alongside the Terran people to, you know, kill some rebel scum. Uh, I don't know the feasibility of such a request. It probably would be way too much work, and in which case, nope, never mind then. I don't mind, but it would be a fantastic way to be able to make enough money to be able to construct a, a factory complex again. I will just say that much. Slit weapons dealer. And, uh... Yeah, you better get out of my way. I don't move for anybody. That's right. You better dodge. <laughs> oh! I would love to have an interdictor. I, I mean, like, a, a tractor beam. That's it. I would love a tractor beam. I don't know if that's in this game. I don't think it is. I would have to double check. <laughs> Teladi biotransporter. Uh, just, just track to beam somebody. Just, I'm gonna grab this guy's balls. <laughs> oh man, yes, that would be. Uh. <laughs> the vulture is the I, I clearly need some more sleep. Verbo's computer, go, go away. Nah. I, I just want to at least get to Brenham's Triumph, if I can at least get that far. That's all I can ask for. I believe coming up next is Therix Beard. Really? Is that the name of the system? Why the hell would you name it that? That's the... Alright, cool. Then after that we get to go through at least three pirate controlled systems. This is gonna be fun! Oh boy, I hope you're waiting. I hope you're excited. Because <laughs> I'm sure not. <laughs> nah, I'm just going to go kill some pirate scum if I have to. It's fine. I'm going to transfer ships and jump into my uh, interceptor here. It's fine. Argon, military supply transporter. And, 
Nah, it'll be fine. It's gonna be great. Gonna love it. Bring the kids. It's gonna be fun. It's great. Good old wholesome family fun. And uh, all that jazz. There we go. All right. I think I've lined up well enough. I should be good to go through the hole. And, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, get this over with as quick as I can. Argon Energy Transporter. I mean, that is an awesome design. That is, that is really cool. Just, oh, wait, hole. Holy hole. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I just want to pick at that. And, uh, and the boots. Seriously, that would be the perfect spot for just somebody poking around at consoles. I know you probably can't animate it, but at least having a guy, like, with his hands behind his back, just, yep, that's a classic, uh, douchebag stance. I want that. I want the classic douchebag feel. <laughs> what am I even talking about? I don't know. But, uh... Just go ahead and speed this on up and uh, try and think about something else to talk about unless I'm just gonna have to cut this content out while I wait. I uh, sure as hell hope I don't have to, but uh, yeah, it's only so much news to go around. I mean, uh... <laughs> God, when you really think about it, how advanced are we? We really freaking advanced. Terracorp, we have... high tech transporter. We have freaking computers in our pockets. Just no, yeah, think about it. What you got in your hand? That used to be a computer back a while back. <laughs> this is just stupid. What? What? Whoa! What? 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 What are we fighting? Why are we fighting? Why are we Terracorp, doing that? High tech transport. Cause he's a Y wing. Hey, Y wing. How are you so damn impressive, Y wing? You're really dumb, Y wing. <laughs> You're really dumb. <laughs> Yes, I know. Let's try fighting the Interdictor alone. Coming in for our bombing run. You better not bomb me. I swear to... I swear if you bomb me... I swear is it, if you try and bomb me, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. You wrecked my shields! I did wreck your shields. Give up, you little... piece of crap. Oh, they got two people sitting in there, too. That's a nice touch. Why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking me? In an it, I'm in an interdictor just flying around minding my own damn business. And then here you are just flying in. I'm a Y-Wing. I'm going to do Y-Wing stuff. I'm going to bomb you for the rebellion. Get out of here, you crazy. <laughs> That's the galaxy for you. Entering system, Thorok's beard. Crazy little yahoos trying to do what they think they can to try and fight against an empire. Come on, Argon, get out of here. Energy out of here. transporter. You don't want any of that. You don't want that. Let's get out of here. You know, it's just a nut. Sign of being a crazy fool when you just like trying to pick a fight with the... Where the hell even am I? Okay. Thurax Beard. I'm on the... You better not start... You son of a bitch! <laughs> what are we fighting? What are we fighting? No, we're not fighting that. See how you like this. Why am I fighting a Mandalorian? Terracorp, high -tech transporter. Oh, it's you, you stupid fool! Why are you still trying to fight me? You went through the gate after me! You just have a death wish. Alright. My god. <laughs> what is your problem? Good God, I'm not even gonna bother to get out of my ship. I'm just gonna let my turrets deal with you. F off! <laughs> oh, I love it. 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 Just, yep. Oh, man. All I'm trying to do is go to that gate. Can you not see that? Can you not see? Can you not see? 
I will admit that it's pretty darn cool. I do love seeing that. He can't really... I mean, they can barely catch up to me. 81 meters per second. I don't know why you're trying to do this. Why... I mean, yes, I'm Imperial. Okay, I understand. <laughs> do you really... Oh my god. <laughs> Just... Oh, what a pest. What a pest indeed. Anyway, what was I doing? I was going to read the stupid, uh, <laughs> border. The stupid border information about the... God, Lee. <laughs> Just... This damn guy interrupted me that much that I just totally forgot what I was trying to do. <clears throat> it's a Mandalorian system on the fringes of civilized space. The deep space system is no stranger to raids by pirates and other hostile ships. Founded by the split leader Thurak as a prison colony for Boron captured during the, their wars, it has evolved into a thriving industrial outpost. All right. <sighs> Time to get to pirate space. This is going to be fun. It's going to be great. We're going to have a grand old time. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, hey, cool. It's another one of those ships. Is it stuck in the gate? What's it doing? Get out of the way. <laughs> I think he's stuck. <laughs> oh, Lord. Are we really doing this now? Are we... Are we doing this right now? <laughs> oh no, why would you do this? Why would you, all right, you know what? All right, all right, no, no, it's fine. It's fine, no, I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of this stupid thing real quick. Let me just, uh. gotta do it right you gotta do it right it's about as simple as that don't rely on a stupid little turret to take care of it just go after him yourself Someone, please help. I'm being attacked. just gonna go ahead and take care of this myself then and die die rebel scum you son of a bitch There we go. It's done. No, it's not. What are we fighting now? Oh, no. Now I'm fighting everything, aren't I? Oh, no. I'm fighting everything. Oh, no. Uh, Doc. Doc. Oh, jeez. Did I just piss off everyone in the sector? I... I uh, may have pissed off everyone in the local sector. Yep, I probably did. Not. Okay, good, I didn't. <laughs> uh, shit. What are you? Okay, that's still vanilla. Okay. Alright, so, note to self. Uh, do not try using my other ship. Unless I really need to. Unless I really need to. How about that? <laughs> oh man, the Spring Blossom class was originally a deviation of the Winter Blossom design that was first used to explore the gate network. What if we just... what? This version appears to be modified for other uses besides exploration. Yep. Like killing fools. There we go. Also looking badass. TerraCorp Freight Transporter. Please don't make me kill you. Apparently you, uh, Star Wars ship. Apparently you are a Star Wars ship, and I didn't know, but you know what? Hey, I might have to get this ship as well. It looks pretty down sleek. It looks nice. I like it. Even if it is boxy. I mean, it's sleek boxy. It's, it's sleeky and it's boxy. I, it's got the lights, though. The lights are the selling point, okay? Look, I'm a simple man of simple means. <laughs> I'm not asking for a whole lot. I'm just asking for simple things. Thank God I don't live stream this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But 
I do need to save. I do need to save right about now. Da, 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 right there. There we go. We should be good. I have a million one hundred credits again. Nice. We're just gonna sit back, relax, and uh, get away from the microphone and see how well that sounds. That's gonna be great, isn't it? Oh boy. Alright, so apparently I'm heading towards Hell Yeah's Faith. No, I don't think that's how you say that. What what are we fighting now? Argon, military supply transporter. Oh, it's that thing. Why are you fighting me? Why are we fighting? What are we doing this for? This is a really silly thing we're doing. Why? Why must we fight? Oh, you better not turn around to actually confront me, because if I do have to fight you... <laughs> if we're really going to have a problem, my friend... Shit, are we going to have a problem? Are you really diverting off of your... Are you really diverting off of your plan to just to attack me? Are you just... are you really doing that now? Are we doing this thing? Yes, we're doing this thing. All right, cool. All right, now I'm definitely jumping off. I'm glad I saved. Uh, advanced, chain ship, jumping off and engaging. All right, you smart ass son of a bitch. Argon, military supply transporter. So just cleaning up the trash like uh, any old day. Are those missiles? I think those are missiles. Damn it. Damn it all to hell. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's fine. Damn, it's actually really strong. It's, it's actually pretty damn decently strong. Wait. Wait, what? Target is now. My TIE fighter is... What are you doing? No, Doc, please. Man, Doc, what the fuck are you doing outside of the... What are you doing outside of the damn... What? Doc yes, Doc. I don't know why the TIE fighter... Why did you leave, TIE fighter? This is not your time. This is you... You are not... You are but a baby Argon. ship. Military you put a bab. A little babby. Get out of here, babby ship. This is not your fight. At all. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I'm gonna just keep on trying to clean up the mess here. Son of a bitch. First attack the damn ship unprovoked. Now you're trying to piss me off even more by destroying my little tiny TIE fighter? Fuck you! That's what I'll tell you! Fuck you, mate! I'm going to turn Australian for some reason. Because I can. <laughs> I just don't even understand. I'm gonna... What? what? Oh good, you finished the job. Please stay in there, please. Stay in your fucking home. Don't be too good for it, okay? Please do not be too good for it. Oh hell, I could travel 360 meters per second. What the hell am I worried about? <laughs> Damn. What am I firing at? What, what are we doing, turrets? Turrets, please! God, turrets, stop it! Auto, uh, advanced weapons, turrets. God, I hate these stupid turrets. There's gotta be an easier way to control these stupid fecking things. Info, advanced, command. Command console. Where is my stupid command console? I saw it for a second. There it is. Turrets. Turrets, turret, turrets. Command for all turrets. Protect my ship. Command accepted. There we go. Just attack it. I need you to attack, please. Oh no, you started this fight. I'm just finishing it, man. Stupid rebel. TIE Fighter! What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it! No! No 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 
Please tell me you're home. What is your what is your name? Jedi? Je Jedi? Is that Jedi? That's a Jedi. What the What? What? Okay, no. No, I'm not gonna get it. Get out of here, stop it. I'm not dying here. I'm not dying to your stupid ass. Okay. I'm going to assume that it's home is where I've sent it. Because, uh, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> just gonna sit back and watch and let my cannons do all the work. Because you're an asshole. You can go to hell. God, I hate this guy. I hope I kill him. Left firing range. Target is now in firing range. Target left. Oh. <laughs> this guy. This guy. This guy is a guy. He's a guy. He's a dick. He is most certainly a dick. Argon. Fighter drone oh, they deployed drones. I don't, I don't care about that. Argon. I just care about this guy being such an transporter. asshole. What are you doing, Interdictor? You, okay, you're flying. What are you doing? What is your... Why are you moving? I don't know. I do know that I'm just going to try and stay in formation, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get in formation here. Try and uh, line up with my Interdictor here. and We're just going to try taking them on together. Never mind, he's gonna be a dick and keep shooting me in the frickin' side here. Left Is my damn fighter out again? Fighter, stop. No, stop it. God damn it. <laughs> Why is your current... <sighs> Combat. Stop doing anything. Retreat. Return, talk it, the fucking, your home. Return to your fucking home. Uh, <laughs> I swear if I lose my TIE Fighter just because of this stupid thing. I'm, I'll be hella pissed. I'll be hella pissed because this guy, this stupid freaking merchant. Oh god, no, please don't fall into the intersector. No, 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 I said intersector. The intersection. Don't fall into the intersection. <laughs> Remember to yield to all incoming traffic. Oh my god, this guy's shields are so fucking annoying. Fuck your damn shields, you son of a bitch. Target left fire. TIE Fighter, I swear to the ever-loving lord, get the fuck in the damn station and stop fucking doing... Stop your command. Go to fucking home. Never mind, the ship is destroyed. Fuck you, alright. Alright. <laughs> now you're fucking dead. Now I'm killing your ass. And then I'm gonna loot your damn ship. Fuck you. You killed my damn TIE Fighter! That was a stupid ass idiot that kept leaving the fucking base. On the, on the other hand, thank you for that. Thank you. Oh no! Oh no, fuckface. You're dead. You're dead now. You're dead to me! I will find your damn blind spot and I'm gonna abuse the fuck out of it. Where's your damn blind spot? Is it your ass? I will get up on your ass. Where is it? Where's your damn weak spot? Mother 
fucking asshole! God damn! <laughs> I can't stand! My shields cannot withstand this son of a bitch! Really? My shields. My shields are weaker than his? Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of here! Damn dick. I want this guy dead. And addictive. Fuck his day right the hell up. <laughs> Damn it. Am I wasting missiles on this too? Is this son of a bitch, this worthless asshole, using up my damn missiles? Am I, am I, is this what's happening? Is this what we're doing? I, I, do. Uh, I, do, do, do. Uh, da, da, da. My shields are almost gone. Holy fuck. Really now? How is this guy that strong? What is he using? What is this guy? What is this asshole? Holy shit. On a stick. I'm gonna dock with the damn. Oh my god. I don't. I don't understand this. I do not. I do not. I don't understand this. How is this a possible thing? How is this the thing that's happening? How? How and why? Why and how? Oh. Military supply transporter. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your This guy really? Was I talking to this guy? God, he's gonna get away, isn't he? Son of a bitch. Pain in my fucking ass! Yes, you are. You oh, 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 it's okay. I didn't lose my, uh, I did not lose uh, my my interceptor. That's fine. You're going to get it now. Uh, why are you such a dick? Why are you such a dick? Fuck you. <laughs> Gonna sit here. Just gonna sit here and enjoy the show. Life support failing. Really? Is this fucker gonna really destroy my interceptor because he can fire that goddamn fast? Is that what's really gonna happen? <laughs> that sure as hell better not happen, but it's starting to look like it. I, I swear to God, if that happens, I'll be I'll be a hell of a goddamn beast. All right, so a uh, mod developer, what the? Is this guy really supposed to be that strong? Is this guy really that supposed to be that fucking strong? Holy shit, his shields are ridiculous. I don't think this ship is balanced. Might just be a hunch, but holy fuck. All the weapons on this guy. His shields! How the fuck did he get his shields back already? What? That ain't no damn way. Get the hell out of here, you son of a bitch. Uh-uh. Oh, hell no. Oh my god, this guy. This guy is going to be in a video all himself. I'm just gonna call it Asshole Fight. The never-ending story. Holy shit! <laughs> I just... What? That's right, you better start dying, you freaking asshole! Tie killer! Son of a... Warned you I'd be pissed off, you Argon. goddamn Argon. asshole. Ugh. Fuck, no!
I didn't mean to change ship, I meant to duck. I meant to duck. This, this game? This fucking game? <laughs> Did I lose all of my stuff? Why is it moving? Why the fuck is my interdictor moving? Did I lose anything? When I flew into my own interdictor? I don't know. Interdictor, I really wish you'd stop. Interdictor, orders. Fucking stop. Doesn't have a command. Why are you spinning? Why are you fucking spinning? <laughs> Alright. I just... I can't believe I just flew into my own damn ship. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I don't think I lost any, uh, important pieces. Attention. Energy low. I don't think I lost anything important. Yeah, no, I needed that. I needed to kill that fucker. I needed to kill him real bad. That was all I had to do. Uh, this will give you a great chance, though, to be able to see my ship from the outside. So as you can see, this is clearly uh, what they call the ugly kind of style ship. It's a... Uh, it's a hybrid between the traditional Spring Blossom and an Imperial des or Sith Design uh, Interceptor. I love the red engine lights in particular. That's pretty fucking badass, I will say. <laughs> oh man, I can't, I can't believe that just happened. Also, this is me. This is my my pilot. Yeah. Look ugly as sin. I wish you could upgrade this repair beam, but no. I really hope I didn't lose any uh, important pieces on this ship, but as far as I can tell, I didn't lose anything. Let's double check. Orders, info, freight, I guess. I really can't repair while I'm inspecting the... God dang it! <laughs> Transport advice. No, I mean, I think I've got everything I need. I've got my shields. I think that was the maximum shields. I think I've still got the plasma cannons. Yeah, I think I just uh, took some serious hull damage, but I think I'm okay. Thank God. <laughs> uh, good lordy lord. It doesn't really matter where you're Attention. aiming as long as you're just Energy shooting low. in the general direction of your ship. Unless I'm mistaken. But yeah, no. This is something you can't do in X3... Uh, I'm sorry, an X rebirth if I'm not mistaken. I don't think you can get outside your ship and try repairing it. <laughs> I think that's kind of exclusive to just this game, which is a shame. No, I don't want to go away from it. No. Yeah, that's pretty badass. <laughs> uh Gonna, just gonna finish repairing this real quick. Maybe make another save because I successfully beat off that son of a bitch. I, I don't know what the hell that merchant's problem was. Really just coming out of his way to just attack me. Oh. Okay, maybe somehow I preemptively attacked him by accident. Probably a stray shot. More than likely. <laughs> Still, man, you don't, you don't mess with the Empire like that. I can't believe I lost my stupid TIE Fighter, though. The TIE Fighter. Really? I mean, yes, it was a piece of shit throwaway uh, TIE Fighter. But that's beside the point. <laughs> the fact is, I still lost my TIE Fighter to that son of a bitch. That's what, that's the real crime today. The real lesson to be taken away is just, God, TIE Fighter, why? Why did I have to lose you? I didn't even have a name for you. You were just random TIE Fighter number five. I didn't really have a proper name for you. I probably sh I should have named it. I should have named it something. I could have named it Bob. I could have named it something impressive. But no. This is what I get. This is what I deserve. I never gave it the love I should have given it. It was a little wee baby ship. And I didn't, didn't respect it. <laughs> Alright. Let me just go ahead and dock again real quick and not fly into my ship this time. How about that? That's gonna be good. Let me just autopilot dock at. Thank you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. I 
I really honestly have no idea why I, uh, why the TIE fighter kept trying to join the fight. I kept telling it to dock and retreat, but no, 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 it's, it's fine. It'll just keep flying out of my hangar. It thinks it's helping. That's so dumb. So dumb. Crystal Fab M Alpha Gate Family Ron Car. That's not where I need to go, is it? That's where I've come from. I need to go the exact opposite direction. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. This was uh this was painful. This was a painful episode. <laughs> I just want to get to Britain's Triumph. You know what? No, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. About to travel to a pirate sector. Because I know if this was a pain in the ass, that's going to be even worse. <laughs> uh, good God. Gate. Hatikva's faith. Yep, that's where I need to go. Alright, so in the next episode... I will be going through Haktiva's faith. And, uh, yeah. We'll see if things continue. We'll see if things continue to go south. <laughs> All to find this damn shuttle. Uh, in the next episode. This has been Draku. I'll see you in the next one.